Okay, so come to the question number next question question number D. So you uh, actually in your question number find the HCF of of the following numbers given again in question number two find the HCF of the following numbers given. So the first one question number one will solve in uh, by prime factorization method and question number two will solve in uh, direct method okay with direct method is given in your example for uh, page number 48 example number one directly you can find the common factors okay so the first one question number one we will solve in uh, prime factorization method so one abc already i did here Okay, so now come to the question number. Okay, question number D, question number E. Question number D, E, F are homework. Okay, D, E, F. D, E, F are homework. I will solve Z and H now. Z. Question number Z is what? 75,125. Okay, so by prime factorization method. We get so 75 divided by 3 becomes 25 again divided by 5 becomes 5 125 divided by 5 becomes 25 again divided by 5 becomes 5 so therefore 75 is equal to 3 into 5 into 5 then 125 becomes 5 into 5 into 5. Okay? So the only common factor is not only there are two fives. This 5, this 5, and 5 and 5. So that means 5 into 5, 25 will be the HCF. Okay. So therefore HCF of 75 and 75 and 125 is equal to what? 5 into 5. That means 25. Okay? So now, come to the question number 8. So question number 8 is given 45, 81. So by prime factorization method, method we get so forty five. You can divide by plus three. Okay, so three this one becomes fifteen again. Divide by three becomes five, and eighty one you divide by. 3 becomes 27 again divided by 3 becomes 9 again divided by 3 becomes 3 so we have 4 you can write 40 for the prime factorization of 45 is what 3 into 3 into 5 and prime factorization of 81 is what 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 so common factors definitely is 3 and this 3 that means 3 into 3 hf will be 9 okay So therefore, HCF of 45 and 45 and 81 is equal to what? 3 into 3. That is 9. Okay. So now question number I 72 and 63. Same method used by prime factorization method. We get so seventy two at first we divide by two, it becomes thirty six. We divide by two, it becomes eighteen. 
3 into 3. Okay? So 63 you can divide by 3. 3 to the 6. So 1 again you divide by 3. Seven. So there are 4. The prime factorization of 72 is what? 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. Again, prime factorization of 63 is what? 3 into 3 into 7. So in this case, common factors, if you see these two trees, that means 3 into 3, 9 will be the HCF, okay? So therefore, HCF of 72 and, and 63 is equal to what? These two trees, this 3, 3 into 3. So 3 into 3. That means 9. Okay, so last one, question number, I think Z. So question number Z is what? 70, uh, 69 and 39. 69 and 39. Okay, so by prime factorization method. is also a prime number so therefore 69 you can write 3 into 23 and thir uh, 39 you can write 3 into 13 so therefore HCF of 69 and 39 is equal directly this one 3 okay so in my next video, question, I will solve the question number 2, that means I will solve at first the example number 1 of the page number 48, which is the direct method of finding HCF, okay?